UK snubs, US not care. Sussex is planning fake royal tours to Australia but the world hate them. In September this year, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle visited New York, which some commentators compared to a royal engagement, and now Neil Sean has claimed that plans are being made for more trips. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are planning to embark on more fake royal tours in 2022, a royal commentator has claimed. In September, Harry and Meghan made a visit to New York on their first official outing together since the birth of their daughter Lilibet in June. The couple were hosted by the city's mayor Bill de Blasio, attending local landmarks including the One World Trade Center as well calling for vaccine equity at the Global Citizen Live concert event. But, with the pair no longer taking on royal duties since March last year, some commentators were critical of the trip's resemblance to a royal engagement. Royal commentator Neil Sean has claimed that more of these engagements are on the horizon. According to a very good source, Harry and Meghan are planning even more, shall we say, fake royal tours in 2022, he suggested. But a lot of people, particularly senior courtiers in the royal circles are baffled, because, what exactly are they touring for? Apparently they are looking to tour Australia, Japan and back to certain areas of the United States. Neil suggested that Prince Harry and Meghan are not that popular right now so claimed, maybe they're hoping to reignite their once popularity in far-flung places. As well as supposedly taking these trips overseas, next year we'll see the release of Harry's tell-all autobiography, which has allegedly raised eyebrows at Buckingham Palace over what details might be included in the book. Announcing the project in July, the prince said that the memoir will be a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. And, Neil suggested the alleged plans for trips to new territories might offer the chance for the Duke of Sussex to promote his book. Despite Neil's claims, no plans have yet been announced for when the Sussexes might return to the UK for the Queen to meet her great-granddaughter Lilibet. Harry and Meghan on a recent appearance in New York City, image, AFP via Getty Images Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan are living in California with their two children Archie and Lilibet after deciding to quit as senior royals last year. And former royal butler Paul Burrell, who worked for both the Queen and Princess Diana, says Harry and Meghan could have been an incredible help to the firm at this time. He told that, we've seen recently that her, the Queen's, family have rallied around her to support her and take on more. Kate and William have been thriving, and their work will be a huge support and relief to the Queen. And we've seen other members of the family step up to take on more engagements in recent weeks, too. Harry and Meghan's absence from the firm is more significant than ever. Their betrayal of the royals is more noticeable now than ever. With everyone stepping up to support the Queen, Harry and Meghan would have been an incredible help, but they're not, they're in America. They should be here right now, supporting his elderly grandmother. I'd find it unfathomable if news of the Queen's hospital admission wouldn't have hit Harry and Meghan hard. It must have made them both realize what they've done, how far away they are, and the dilemma they are faced with, they are not only denying themselves time with her but denying their children, Archie and Lilibet, time with their great-grandmother. Despite stepping down from royal duties, Harry and Meghan have continued to make public appearances. In September they held a series of meetings in New York City with the likes of Big Apple Mayor Bill de Blasio and visited a school in Harlem. And next week is also shaping up to be a busy one for the Sussexes.